Hi and welcome back to the Full Cup Wellness with me, Queen VK. Today I wanted to share with you the science behind laughter. I recently wrote a blog post on my website, thefullcupwellness.com, all about it. So here's a little basic rundown of my blog post. For those who prefer YouTube to reading, <laughs> put it in the comments below if you prefer YouTube to blog posts. Otherwise, I also do podcast versions of my blog posts if you prefer listening to reading. If you like that idea, I can keep doing it. Put it in the comments, let me know. All right, so the science of laughter. Pretty much, laughter is that primal sound that comes out of you when you experience something unexpected, uncomfortable, or... I'll say funny, but if you think about it, a lot of humour is like comes from an unexpected punchline that makes you just have that bah, that primal sound, that response to hearing something that you didn't expect to hear, or for tickling, for example, if you're laughing laugh, laughing from tickling, then that is a response like a. a I feel like it's a discomfort response, like it's a dis very disarming kind of response. When you think about it, and actually science has shown that laughter has kind of evolved. I, I don't usually use the word evolved, but science it has been found, I mean, sorry, laughter has been found by science to build social bonds between individuals in a community not just in humans but in animals too so they found that rats can laugh and um, chimps can laugh there are many different experiences examples in the animal kingdom of laughter that isn't just like a, a sound they're making but they're actually having the laughter response similar to humans so it, it's not just like a, a hyena is making a noise that sounds like laughter or a kookaburra is laughing. Actually, a kookaburra makes that laughter noise as a, um, what's the word? Territorial response. It's being territorial. I love the sound of a kookaburra. If you've never heard the sound of a kookaburra, look it up. It fills you with glee because they sound like they are laughing. And no, I'm not going to do an impersonation of one right now. <laughs> um, if I was going to really embarrass myself, then yes. <laughs> All right. So you may have heard of laughter therapy. So people do actually go to classes where you can induce laughter through humor, or you can do the forced laughter. And science has shown that both methods actually have a beneficial res effect beneficial response on the human body so um what kind of benefits do you get from laughter well it does feel like a physical exercise so you get some massage of the muscles of the diaphragm and your abdominal muscles and you have a really good laugh you know you feel like you've had a really good workout it's got a good massage right there in little mini workout of the muscles um, another benefit is actually what I mentioned before, the social bonding between individuals. So sharing that, that shared response makes you feel like you don't have that difference. It's not us versus them. It's actually, they are one of us. I think you feel connected and bonded with that other individual because of that shared experience. And they also have found, or well, science has found that the stress hormones decrease when we laugh, so cortisol, stress hormone, it actually decreases in your body when you laugh. So even forced laughter can help decrease that stress response. It sounds very strange to me, but I've seen a clip of laughter therapy happening and you can, you can force the laughter out, give yourself a really good massage. And it does bring on these feelings of positivity. Like it changes, it almost changes your brain patterns into something more productive and useful, especially if you're stuck in a rut. So try it now. If, if you've never tried forced laughter, it's basically just forcing out a laugh 
without any external thing making you laugh. So, so you give it a go now. <laughs> so if you've noticed there, I took a big deep breath. That's also, it feels so good how therapeutic it is to take a big breath and cleanse, cleansing breath. Fill your lungs up, give yourself that massage. And also, when you put your mouth in a smile, your brain thinks, ah, now is the time to put out the happy hormones. So dopamine. So not only is our body controlled by hormones, our brain is controlled by hormones and hormones are controlled by our brain. I've also made a blog post about hormones in the brain. If you want to check out thefullcupwellness.com, it's in there. And let me know if you want me to read the, those blog posts out as a podcast. All right, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thanks so much for watching. Click subscribe and like to show your support. And check out my website, The Full Cup Wellness, for more science knowledge from me, Queen Bigay.